Hi, I'm Sean Eckhart. I graduated from Purdue, the College of Technology at the time in 2007 uh, with a degree in industrial technology and industrial distribution. Hi there, my name is Adela Creasy. I graduated in 2002 from Electrical Engineering Technology School. Can you talk a little bit about what your current role is? Yeah, sure. So I've been with Siemens for 17 years uh, following graduation uh, here at Purdue. Uh, joined a, an entry-level rotational program um, that took me to a number of different locations in the U.S. Um, that focused in different job functions and responsibilities inside the company on the manufacturing operations side. Um, and from that point, I found the opportunity inside of Siemens to navigate the company uh, to areas that I was really interested in inside such a large company. And I would say that my time at Purdue and inside the College of Technology with the breadth of the degree that um, the university was providing and the diversity of the classes that I was able to participate in while at the college um, helped kind of build an understanding of industry, but also not make it so specialized that I was too focused in one particular area. And that gave me the ability to be flexible in my career and find what I was really passionate about, which is um, today I'm leading a team in corporate strategy um, inside of our company. And it's, it's made up of individuals from all over the world, um, a few out of Germany that I work with very closely uh, and very thankful to, to have had that opportunity inside of Siemens. And I feel like my time at Purdue really helped me navigate such a large company with that diverse background that I had. How about you? Tell me about your journey a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Being obviously a minority within the school, um, I was able to graduate and work for several different large companies. Um, so my first company out of college, um, I had to move away for, uh, and then obviously moved back in order to get married to my Purdue uh, sweetheart. And so um, through this process, you know, was able to kind of see different aspects of different industries mm -hmm. and really be able to leverage that process mindset that I learned um, from Purdue as well as just the importance of communication and really being able to convey you know, technical topics to a variety of different folks within the organization. Um, and so now I'm actually leading a strategic innovations team. So we deal a lot with research and development and it's in the energy industry. Mm -hmm. So coming from a background of double E, T has allowed me that opportunity to reflect back on a lot of things that I learned in school and apply some of those things today. Yeah, and such a relevant uh, space for you to be working in right now with all the, the climate challenges that we're looking at and sustainability and the electrical space. So what a, what a cool opportunity. Absolutely. Yeah. So Sean, we both have recently joined the Purdue Alumni Board mm -hmm. for the School of Technology. What was one of the reasons why you decided to um, answer their request for additional um, board members? Yeah, it's, it's a really good question because it's been 17 years since I graduated, as I mentioned, and I always had that um, passion inside of me for Purdue um, and wanting to get back in touch with the university, uh, maybe try to execute on an ownership culture, if you will, and feel like you're just more invested in what's happening at the school. And through life, as you know, got married, had kids, traveled with work, um, job changes, sometimes that falls to the back of your priority list. Mm -hmm unfortunately, mm -hmm. and the timing was just right where I, you know, life has settled down a little bit, and I was looking for a way to give back and happened to, to see the outreach and, uh, yeah, put my name in the hat, and here we are. So I'm, I'm thankful to be part of the board um, and really looking forward to, to you know, driving the brand forward uh, for, for Purdue Polytechnic. How about you? Tell me about how you... That's, you know, we're very similar from that perspective. I saw the announcement as well, and the first thing I thought of was... I've always wanted to give back, but I've been a little bit hesitant just because my career path has taken a little bit of a different path than maybe what a traditional student and graduate would have fallen into, where they would have um, continued to behave and, and work in the field in which they went to study for. And so I've always kind of been a little bit hesitant, but now kind of being back in the energy industry, really kind of leveraging a lot of the terms and technologies that I remember from going through school, I thought it was the perfect time to kind of showcase a different path. Mm -hmm. and that everybody's got their own journey, but you can always provide an impact and circle back around to where it all started. Yeah. It's also nice, it sounds like you've been successful in your career, and I think it's really nice to know that you've, sometimes that takes time to get to a point where you feel like you've achieved a lot in your career. And so to bring that success back in the form of a story with your experiences back to the board, I think is a really cool opportunity too. Absolutely, it's a great way to summarize it.